In the 1970s, Tom Ogle accidentally discovered a way to make an engine run on its own fumes. I was messing around with a lawnmower when I accidentally knocked a hole in its fuel tank. I put a vacuum line running from the tank straight into the carburetor inlet. I just let it run, and it kept running and running, but the fuel level stayed the same. I got excited. The lawnmower was running without a carburetor and was getting tremendous efficiency. That mower ran for 96 straight hours. Whoa! And after a few months of trial and error, Ogle replicated his invention with his own car. His 1970 Ford Galaxy got 11 miles per gallon. But after a few modifications, it got 100 miles per gallon. In April 1977, Ogle drove the 4,000-pound car 205 miles on just two gallons of gas. Engineers inspected the car for hidden gas tanks and other gimmicks, but nothing was found. His technology worked. Ogle made the internal combustion engine do what it was designed to do, operate on fumes. He accidentally invented a version of Pogue's carburetor. Almost overnight, 24-year-old Tom Ogle became an engineering sensation. Oil companies, investors, and businessmen approached him with offers. People expected him to become a billionaire. Shell Oil offered him $25 million cash for the design. Ogle passed when he found out they intended to hide the invention forever. I've always wanted to be rich, and I suspect I will be when this system gets into distribution. But I'm not going to have my system bought up and put on the shelf. So Tom struck deals with investors who would let him control the invention and keep working. He filed for and received a patent. He had attorneys, money, all kinds of resources. Then the United States Air Force showed interest. Uh-oh. And that's when things went downhill. Downhill, huh? Yep. Suddenly, the SEC was after him for violating securities laws. The IRS was after him for failing to pay back taxes. The next few months were a mess. Ogle's wife left him and took their daughter. Legal battles were everywhere. Investors were fighting for control of the patent. Then, on April 14, 1978, Ogle was shot by a stranger outside a bar. No suspect. But he survived. But not for long? No, not for long. On August 18th, he went to a friend's apartment where he collapsed and died. His death, which involved painkillers and alcohol, was ruled an accidental overdose, though Tom Ogle had no history of drug use. Ogle's friends, family, and attorney claimed that this was a cover-up for murder. <laughs>